name is Ryan Hansen. I'm the president with Bon Voyage Travel, and we're excited now to present to you for the 11th week in a row our Bon Voyage webinar series. So as we, we move through everything today, we're excited uh, to be joined by the vice president of hotels for Signature Travel Network, Jordan Green will be joining us. She comes with an exceptional background, not only in her personal travels, but her professional background. She's been with Signature now over a year, but previously worked for American Express. And one of her primary duties at Signature is to vet each and every property within the Signature Travel Hotel Collection, which numbers over 1,100 properties globally, to ensure the quality delivery of accommodations, customer service, food and beverage delivery, experiences, and more at each and every one of those properties. So if someone knows about a hotel property in our collection, it's going to be Jordan Green. So happy to have you, Jordan. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you, Ryan and Kat. It's so great to, uh, to be here, especially um, in the middle of quarantine. There's nothing I like to do better than talk about hotels. I'm a certified hotel junkie. And now that we're all sheltering in place, everyone wants a little inspiration for their wanderlust, right? They surely are. And, and as we were preparing for this, Jordan, I'll let everybody know behind the scenes when we were talking about it, you and I were looking at each other's destinations with envy saying, oh, I want to go there. Oh, I hadn't thought about that place. So without further ado, let's jump into our topic today, which is luxury travel in North America. We're going to be looking at places, maybe even in your own backyard, wherever you may be. But if you are interested in engaging with us uh, and this presentation, it's not a one-way street, but know this, we can't see you. Uh, you can only see us, so the way the web camera works is Jordan and I are here to present. But if you have a question, if you have a comment that you'd like to join in the conversation, at the bottom of your Zoom box, you'll see a Q&A button and a chat button. You can click on that and you can ask a question of us, engage with us, and we'll either on the fly answer it as best as we can, or at the end, we'll take all the questions that come into the feature and present those to you as we move into our question and answer time at the end of our uh, one hour or probably less than that today. So let's jump into one of our fantastic destinations and that is Coastal Carolina. Many of you have heard of Hilton Head, have heard of the fantastic golf and, and water experiences in the Hilton Head area, but we're going to dive a little south of Hilton Head into the Savannah region of the low country of Coastal Carolina and some fantastic features in the low country. Uh, just the nature preserve of that area is beautiful. Some great experiences that are indigenous to the South Carolina coast uh, from the food, from the waterfront experiences, uh, the richness of history in this area can be found in this restaurant. This is the old pink house in Savannah, Georgia, one of the oldest restaurants in the area. It has some steep history in government, used to be one of the city centers for government. It in fact was taken over by the Union soldiers as the headquarters uh, for the Union Army when they made the march to the coast. Uh, so General Sherman was in this place in this now restaurant organizing the troops as he made the march to the coast. This is a fantastic piece of history. Uh, I have dined in the old pink house in the top level, the third floor. It is still fashioned and, and dressed up as a, a residence, but it serves as a great restaurant. This is one of the fantastic parts of staying in Savannah and eating in Savannah, but I would prefer you get outside of Savannah if you really want to experience the low country of coastal Carolina and stay at the Montage Palmetto Bluffs. This is the inn at the bluff. They do have some cottages that you can uh, utilize. So if you're looking for a place that may be a little more socially distanced, that's the phrase of the day that we're talking about now, this might be a great opportunity for you to rent out one of the cottages, utilize one of the bicycles to, to whisk yourself off. I mentioned the boating. You've got fishing. You've got boating activities there in the inlet. Uh, they have a Jack, a Jack Nicholas Signature Golf Club that you could play golf at. There's tennis. It is a really outdoor adventure place, uh, but also that low country, southern, slow, relaxing style. If you just want to go for a walk in and out of the cottages and the homes that are in this area, you will find relaxation for sure. So this destination is definitely the coastal Carolina low country. Uh, it's for history buffs, art lovers, food enthusiasts, uh, adventures for outdoors. Uh, definitely something you should take advantage of. 
Again, it's a colonial style with an inn that has traditional rooms, but also cottages that have built-in fireplaces if you do need that in the coolness of maybe a fall trip to the low country. Uh, if you book with Bon Voyage Travel on each and every one of our hotels we're going to present to you today, you'll see a list of amenities that you can only get by booking with Bon Voyage Travel because of our signature travel network uh, relationship. So some pretty good advantages to you if you wanna stay at the Montage Palmetto Bluff and visit Coastal Carolina. I'm gonna turn it over uh, to Jordan here to take over and take us to Montana. Perfect. Thanks, Ryan. Um, so I think, yeah, as I said, what's better than looking at um, and dreaming about all the properties we're going to? And I would say the answer to that is actually going to the properties. And one of the things that's really exciting is right now, all these that we're looking at are open for business. Um, and they have, um, we've been working really closely with our hotels to ensure that they're taking the proper steps for uh, social distancing, health and safety, to make sure that they can deliver a seamless, safe and enjoyable end-to-end -end experience for our, all of their clients. So um, I'm gonna start with Montana. Uh, I'm in Manhattan night, so getting out to the, uh, to the Wild West and trying on my, uh, my own, putting up, getting my Annie Oakley on is um, one of my favorite things to do. And um, obviously like with COVID now, again, if we are talking about what is truly a luxury, it's space, it's nature, it's you know, privacy, um, it's outdoors. And these are all things that Montana um, just has in spades. I will say that um, of anywhere that I've been all over, all over the world and, um, and all over a beautiful country too, uh, I've never felt so much like I'm walking through a postcard as was when I'm in Montana. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it, the beauty is awe-inspiring. It's a year-round destination that offers so much for, uh, for families, for uh, adults and singles, all different types of activities, uh, wellness, uh, experiences, etc. So Signature has three hotels in Montana of the luxury dude ranch type. So we work with Paws Up, Triple Peak Ranch, but today I wanna to talk about Ranch at Rock Creek, um, which is one of my all-time favorites. It's in Phillipsburg, Montana, which is, uh, feels so remote, but is, is relatively easy access near Missoula Airport, but there's also uh, access through Bozeman, Butte, um, and uh, Hel Helena Airport. So about an hour and a half drive, the most beautiful scenery that you will see, um, gets you to the stunning ranch here where it's truly a bespoke experience. If you talk about you know, the Wild West and, and cowboying it up while also having just the best of the best in accommodations, in culinary, in customer service, that is what Ranch at Rock Creek is. Um, in terms of their uh, accommodations, uh, they have uh, opportunities at a lot of the main lodge house. They have, tr we hear this term glamping all the time. I mean, they really help define it. Glamping cabins, you can stay with your family in a reconstituted barn, and then they have dedicated luxury homes of different sizes. So 29 rooms, your own space, opportunity spread out and just enjoy the sprawling, sprawling property of, of incredible nature. Um, this is one of my favorites, the, uh, the, the Silver Dollar Saloon. As you can see, the bar stools are, <laughs> are, um, are horse saddles and um, incredible selection of games and, and libations. Um, you know, some different gorgeous uh, cabins out in the wilderness and, you know, tr truly stocked if you feel like a frontiersman while also living in the lap of luxury. Uh, an incredible spa, activities include uh, mountain biking, hiking, archery, shooting, horseback riding, of course, fly fishing, a great kids club, and um, for those who really just want to use it as a wellness experience, things like arts and crafts, incredible yoga, spa, etc. Don't miss your chance to, uh, to go to Ranch at Rock Creek and make sure that you book through Bon Voyage Travel because as Ryan said, Signature offers these exclusive amenities. So it is a phenomenal all-inclusive property, um, but you will get in addition to that $100 ranch credit, which you can use for spa, which you can use for retail, premium bottle of wine. And um, this, is, this is a destination that will stay with you. Love it. That's a, a great spot there. Uh, and we're going to whisk you off now back to the other coast. 
uh, and we're going to talk about Northern Virginia and the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Uh, this area is historically significant as it has major ties to the American Revolution, clearly the Civil War. So if you are a buff for the wars of, of America's past uh, on our soil, this is a fantastic area and region for you to, to visit. We're talking about a connection in this specific area more so uh, to fox hunting and steeplechasing. So the equestrian feel of Northern Virginia is so much so that it has the reputation of being the nation horse and hunt capital of, of the United States. It's about 35 minutes from Dulles International Airport. So you're talking about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes from the nation's capital. So uh, this might be an option for you if you want to visit DC, do the monuments, do the history run within the city limits and or within the capital, the district limits, uh, and get a little outside of the region as well. This could be an offering for you uh, here in uh, in the Northern Virginia area called Middleburg. This is Middleburg, Virginia, and this resort is called the Salamander. It's the Salamander Resort and Spa, uh, and it is definitely has an equestrian feel, as I mentioned earlier, but it's nestled uh, in an area that is full of wine country and uh, really beautiful homes and an opulent and, and home-like type destination. Uh, as this country estate has 168 rooms and suites, each one of them has an outdoor patio or balcony. Uh, it's plush accommodations. Uh, it's really a luxury property with that equestrian life feel. You can ride horses here. You've got the indoor outdoor uh, living arrangements. Again, here's a picture of, of one of the accommodations inside a fireplace in each and every room, but there are pools and tennis courts, uh, putting greens right there on site as well, lawn games, croquet, bocce ball, cornhole. So you can see another place to relax, but if you're looking for adventure nearby there's zip lining uh, and wineries and local boutique shops uh, but also exclusively uh, there is some golfing uh, in the region that I think you'll like one of the best courses I've played is Creighton Farms which is about a mile away from the Salamander and you have privileges to play on this semi-private course as a, as a guest of the hotel at the Salamander really the options are endless here in Middleburg for you for activities but I would be remiss if I didn't say you've got to take advantage of the equestrian opportunities. They have some great stables there. They have horses right on property that you can, can go from small trail rides to a full equestrian experience uh, there on property and they have staff that can help you walk through that. The Salamander Resort and Spa again in Middleburg, Virginia, beautiful area. I think you will enjoy this space, 340 acre property uh, that is a stone's throw away from an easy flight in and out of Dulles. So if you're coming from either the West Coast or if you're one of our clients on the East Coast, fairly easy access to get there and take the drive uh, through the countryside of Northern Virginia. I think you'll enjoy the ride out to this property. But again, some great amenities by booking through Bon Voyage here uh, at the Salamander Resort and Spa. So another area for you to think of. And we're going to toss it back to Jordan. She's going to take you back to the West Coast for a San Francisco Bay opportunity. Okay, great. Um, so yes, now we are in San Francisco Bay, an area that I find myself returning to so often because it's so easily accessible, it's so close to, to San Francisco and yet feels like such, a, such an oasis um, away with just absolutely stunning natural beauty. Um, and specifically Ritz-Carlton Half Moon Bay is the property that we're featuring here. This is a property I've returned to time and time again. Um, this is a property that is consistently always on Condé Nast and Travel Leisure and Forbes Best of California Resorts before Ryan's going to take you a little bit more south, um, closer to Santa Barbara in a minute. But this is Northern California at its best. So um, it's a property that's really just built on the traditions of, of coastal living. Um, and the property is based right there on Half Moon Bay State Park, Natural Reserve. So right from the hotel, you have access to incredible beaches, to miles and miles of world-class hiking. Um, activities include everything from uh, guided and private kayaking, world-class golf, um, complimentary bikes, tennis, 
a 16,000 foot spa for just the, the best in wellness, lounging out, you know, overlooking with, you know, with fire pits. Some of the rooms um, in the main house, beautiful balconies, fire pit rooms to, to sit out and enjoy the dining, beach, seafood, al fresco, uh, some incredible cocktails and uh, stunning suites, open air dining, and beautiful views. The area around has great off-property activities as well. So there's some wineries nearby, interesting unique dairies, and just scenic drives. Uh, the Redwood Forests aren't far away, so, so never a shortage of things to do. And, and as I said, so, so close to San Francisco, but worlds away. Um, and if you do go, you have to um, look forward to every day one of the hotel's unique um, one of their unique rituals is a bagpipe player. So in celebrating the, uh, celebrating the traditions, they have a Scottish bagpipe player in a kilt who comes out at sunset and the beautiful acoustics overlooking the Pacific uh, Ocean is something you won't soon forget. Um, here we have our exclusive amenities. So make sure you call your uh, Bon Voyage travel advisor. All right, as uh, Jordan mentioned, it's time to go a little bit south of the San Francisco Bay Area, and we're gonna head to Ojai Valley. Uh, and this is an area that's settled by uh, the ancient Chumash Indians uh, about 10,000 years ago. And so there's some, some Native American rituals and feeling in this area. There's some rumors and some discussions that the stratified mountain rocks creates and harnesses an energy in this valley uh, and if you believe that or not, it's still an interesting concept and, and a historically significant from a culture standpoint where you can really connect with the local uh, Native American population that's still there in the area uh, to be able to, to take it in. And it's a, a beautiful mountains uh, are the backdrop, the Topa Topa Bluffs uh, that are 6,000 feet above sea level create a backdrop almost every sunset uh, that the locals call a pink moment. As the sun sets opposite of the mountain range, you can see the mountains here in the background of the Ojai Valley creating a beautiful backdrop that at sunset they call it the pink moment and the entire mountain landscape turns pink. And it's a very ritualistic uh, evening every night at the Ojai Valley Inn and Spa, which is here in the foreground where you toast uh, your, your fellow travelers at the pink moment. So you mentioned, Jordan, the playing of the bagpipes at the Ritz-Carlton Half Moon Bay. Uh, I would rival that with the pink moment at the Ojai Valley Inn and Spa. In the area, Ojai now, the downtown area, is filled with art galleries, restaurants, boutiques, breweries. Uh, you can go on a wine tasting, an olive oil and honey tasting experience, or how about a kombucha tasting? And I had to look that up. I did not know that is a special infused tea. Uh, so lots of different experiences where this area is really home to artisans, really of every shape and kind. They have a market, uh, a fresh market every Saturday with farmers and uh, spiritualists and different things in the area that uh, artisans are selling their jewelry and paintings. Uh, something that would be a different experience for you if you've never, never had it. This is the historic Ojai Valley Inn and Spa that opened its doors in 1923. It's been inspired uh, by kind of a Mediterranean architecture and feel that is somewhere between Spanish and Mexico from its hacienda design. So for those of you that are, are local uh, clients here in southern Arizona, you'll feel right at home. Uh, in these accommodations. Uh, they don't uh, uh, scrimp on any of the luxurious features though. It is finely appointed. This is the restaurant uh, on site, the Olivella. Beautiful experience here. Uh, six different restaurants uh, on site, uh, but it is in the Ojai Valley. So another opportunity to horseback ride, to bicycle, to get out and enjoy uh, the different spirits uh, in the area. It's kind of a chick outdoor oasis. They've got beautiful pools, great golf course. Uh, again, the, the artisan's market that's for food and art uh, is a great place to visit every Saturday. The weather is fantastic in this area. And you might wanna know, how do I get there? 
Uh, you can drive there from Tucson if you're one of our clients. It's about 90 miles north of Los Angeles. I've been to the Ojai Valley Inn and Spa, and I got there by just flying into Los Angeles International Airport, rented a car, and we drove up to the Ojai Valley area and had a wonderful visit uh, just driving up the coast. Uh, here's the local golf course uh, with that backdrop. Who wouldn't love uh, driving a shot into that green, trying to land it on that, and the experience there in the Ojai Valley is fantastic. At night, the temperatures drop. It's a beautiful area. You're away from the city hustle and bustle of Los Angeles, uh, but you're in a beautiful, uh, enchanting destination at the Ojai Valley Inn and Spa. Uh, again, 220 oak studded acres. I, I loved how they phrased that. So big, lush trees. Uh, 31,000 square foot spa. Who doesn't love uh, the spa experience? Uh, and a neat place to stay with our wonderful amenity package by booking uh, through Bon Voyage. But uh, you can also shoot out to many different excursions. Uh, I mentioned the horseback riding, the hiking, the biking, but they also have Jeep tours. You can get to the coast fairly easily uh, and go on a kayaking tour or stand, stand up paddleboard lessons you want to surf, this is actually a decent surf area that you can get to fairly easily uh, from the Ojai Valley. So hopefully that's something that, uh, that you would be interested in seeing. And I wanted to just pause real quickly. The, the properties that I have mentioned so far, the Montage in Palmetto Bluff, in addition to the Salamander in the Ojai Valley Inn, are currently open. They are fully open with restaurants and everything. Uh, there's a couple of places today that we'll talk about that aren't open just yet. We will let you know if they are uh, not open and when their plans are. So if you want to visit the three properties I've mentioned, Jordan, you can speak to yours. Uh, I believe you can visit all of the properties we've presented so far as they are all yes. open. Correct. All right, take it away. Okay. Um, yes, so we are definitely featuring the hotels. Sorry, there we go. Um, everything is open. And so now moving from the West Coastal Line all the way to the Eastern Seaboard in Maryland um, for Chesapeake Bay. So this is a, about as 180 in the style and culture and feel as you can find. And when you think of the Eastern Seaboard, Chesapeake Bay, it's two things. It's nautical out on the water and the best, freshest seafood and shellfish as you will ever find. So um, just as you can see, sprawling, sprawling greenery, um, beautiful boats and um, on the water activities galore. So this is a very unique property. There are not very many um, luxury properties in this area. A lot of private homes in the States, but we'll be talking about Inn at Perry Cabin today, uh, which is an, another terrific hotel that's part of the preferred hotels and resorts collection um, as part of Signature. And um, if the property happens to look familiar to you, it's because it was featured in The Wedding Crashers. So the scene at the wedding when they're all outside and looking at the boats, um, that is this uh, gorgeous lawn. So it goes without saying, uh, in addition to regular stays, it, an event to remember, a wedding, you know, anything special like that is, is, is really truly magical there. Um, so this really feels like a, a, like a charming Eastern Inn. Um, that's right, uh, based in St. Michael's, Maryland, which is a charming little town. Reminds me, looks very much like the pictures that uh, Ryan showed for Coastal, Coastal Carolina, but with a with a northern feel. Um, adorable little galleries, great shopping, uh, local restaurants, um, and incredible seafood. We're talking where they bring out those buckets of the, of crabs, and you've got a hammer, and you start banging on on the wooden table and picking things up with your newspaper and um, with a cold beer or lemonade, nothing, nothing can be better. Um, so the hotel has 78 rooms. And again, this is a great place for, uh, for the luxury of space. As you can see, the, the resort itself is quite sprawling. There's a main hotel room as well as a villa products and spacious suites and rooms. Um, They've got two restaurants, so Fine Dining Stars and then uh, Outdoor Marina Beach area, and then activities, activities galore. So um, obviously we make the most of being on the water. So activities like stand-up paddleboarding, but a true sailing program. So from anyone from novices to professionals um, can access their world-class fleet of, fleet of boats. 
Um, you can also do a captain-led sunset cruise, a uh, cocktail cruise, which was definitely the highlight of, uh, of, of our stay. Um, motor boats as well. Um, and then every day on uh, before dinner for cocktails. So as you can see, what, what those Adirondack chairs, so watching all the action on the water, what's better than some champagne sitting in an Adirondack chair watching the, uh, watching the, the world go by on the water. Then you go in for a terrific fine dining dinner and come back out to the fire pits with your uh, some more package. So they sell these incredible, full some more services for, for parties of all sizes, and it's, it's really just wonderful. Um, again, off property, there's other opportunities for um, excursions, such as you can go oystering, you can go crabbing, get you out in the water, uh, golf, and hikes, and, and, and enjoying their lovely pool and complimentary bikes. So definitely uh, a property that will charm you from start to finish. It's an easy drive from DC or from Baltimore. Um, and uh, relaxation is the key, and you use it with your uh, resort credit uh, at the spa, uh, F and B, anything you want to enjoy. All right, excellent, uh, excellent job there. What a difference that is uh, from uh, the West Coast experience to the East Coast nautical. I love that. Now we're going to take you a little Caribbean here and take you to Grand Cayman. Uh, and I love Grand Cayman. It is uh, one of the most frequented areas in the Caribbean by tourists. Uh, you've heard of some of these places. This is Seven Mile Beach, just beautiful sandy beach areas. Uh, there's some unbelievable opportunities for water experiences uh, from uh, sailing on the water uh, to fishing, uh, deep sea fishing. And there's just some great Stingray experience. Stingray Island is right off of Grand Cayman. Just a, a beautiful relaxation area uh, that is uh, not too far away from the United States. So don't feel like you have to venture too far out. As we explore the Grand Cayman, I know you and I could very much see ourselves in that hammock right there on Seven Mile Beach, uh, as this is a great place for beautiful beaches, world-class dining, and some of the most luxurious resorts in, in all of the Caribbean lie here, but we wanna talk specifically uh, about Kimpton Seafire here on Grand Cayman. And this is the resort uh, that we're speaking about here. The Seafire is a, a fairly new hotel. Uh, and when visitors come to this area, you'll see wide beaches, sandy area, wide palm trees uh, that cast a great shadow for you to take a nap in uh, in the afternoon. Uh, this is a luxurious design beachfront setting right on Seven Mile Beach. Uh, it's got a, amazing service. Uh, it's 24 feet above sea level and you can stay right there on one of the uh, one of the vistas that has a great balcony view uh, of your beach area. Uh, and it's really the allure of the Caribbean Sea is an unmatched uh, view. We've shown you unmatched views. I feel a little repetitious by saying every view is just the, to die for and unique, but it really is. Uh, this is down in the pool area looking out to the beach. Uh, you will find uh, top-notch linens and accommodations in each and every one of the rooms. Extravagant bathroom design, contemporary luxurious uh, feel. Uh, but the, the beach is the experience. This is inside the restaurant there uh, at the Kimpton Seafire with fantastic seafood options uh, for you. It creates a great environment. Uh, you'll come home again to one of your beautifully accommodated rooms after diving or snorkeling or deep sea fishing uh, within some beautiful coral reefs that are just offshore the Cayman Islands. Uh, but it's a fantastic Caribbean feel uh, here on the island of Grand Cayman. Uh, that perch just presents a beautiful view of the beaches there at Seven Mile Beach. There's 266 rooms uh, with a fantastic spa facility, uh, boundless beach activities, luscious landscape and gardens. Uh, and they do speak a little French on the Grand Cayman. Uh, so you will enjoy a little international flavor uh, as you come and you can duty-free shop in, ta in town, which is called Georgetown. Uh, it's a very safe place to travel. And one note, right now the Grand Cayman is not open, so the Kimpton Seafire is not available for you to book today. They are shooting, I believe I have it down here as an August return and maybe or September, I think it might be September 1st, uh, that the Kimpton Seafire Resort and Spa will be open 
for travel. So keep that in mind if you're thinking Caribbean over the holiday break, this might be the best uh, spot for you to travel. There's a couple other signature preferred properties in the area. Uh, there's a Ritz-Carlton just down the street from the Kempton Sea Fire uh, that is also a beautiful, fantastic place to stay uh, as well if you want to venture to Grand Cayman. Thanks, Ryan. Okay. We'll be moving right along here in just a sec. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> a little bit of a free switching over. So, wow, I love this view, the Canadian Rockies. So we really were trying to give you a, a varied taste of all of the different uh, experiences that North American has to offer. So as we as we venture north of the border, um, here we are in uh, the Canadian Rockies. And again, uh, during COVID, everyone was talking about real opportunities to really explore America and national parks. So here for Banff, one of the, the jewels of national parks out there and Lake Louise, uh, the Fairmont Lake Louise, which we will be highlighting today as the property is really something that is just unmissable. So the uh, hotel is located right at the Banff, 14 miles from uh, Banff National Park. So very easy access to explore. But uh, the- I mean, come on, that's a piece of art, but that's a picture. Exactly, I mean, to Beautiful. sit here and, and literally be a stone so you could see, if you, get, if you get a balcony room, you can literally throw a stone into that unbelievably transparent Lake Louise, which is just one of the most stunning bodies of water anywhere in the world. This again, like Montana, is a year round destination offering opportunities for incredible activities in the winter, skiing, hella skiing, sledding, dog sledding, hiking, mountain biking, everything. And then in the summer, really getting out onto the lake with uh, canoes, whitewater rafting, rock climbing, and even glacial hikes. So you will never be bored uh, actually at the property exploring Lake Louise or anything around in Banff. Uh, and Signature and Bon Voyage Travel partner closely with Fairmont. And this whole itinerary is really just a bucket list trip that everybody should do. Uh, Fairmont truly does own the best in the best for, for Canadian properties like this. And so to do a loop, you know, including Jasper and Banff, staying in these historic chateaus that are just known as, as, as jewel boxes. Uh, we also have coverage in, in Whistler, so you can really get out there in nature and rugged and, and enjoy while staying in luxury, luxury special properties. So the Fairmont has six restaurants, three bars, spa, um, great service and um, access to what's around, rooms with incredible views year round. Uh, this is definitely uh, one of those check the boxes of this is a, an iconic Canadian property that you want to get to. And, and what I will say, it is open and it is always near impossible, very, very difficult to get into these hotels in high season. I can't ever say this because tour groups come um, and it's so high in demand that occupancy is very, very challenging. So if you are looking to travel now in the summer, this is your opportunity to get in take advantage of great promotions and experience these parks without all of the typical big groups and crowds. Um, you know, it's a real great opportunity to seize. So book it again through uh, Bon Voyage Travel and you get all of your exclusive amenities. Um, experience this diamond in the wilderness. Love it. Now uh, we're going to shift gears a little bit and take you to another national park region, Yellowstone. If you've never been to Yellowstone National Park, uh, it is the crown jewel of national parks, as we were talking about the jewel box that made me think about this. In the United States uh, is Yellowstone. I have been to Yellowstone a number of times, uh, enjoyed it very much. And, and it's one of those areas uh, that it's wildlife, it's nature, it's uh, maybe, and I'll use this phrase, unnatural to a certain degree when you talk about, and I'll go back a slide, to, to the prismatic pools and the geysers. I mean, these are things that you don't see anywhere else on the planet. 
Uh, and this picture doesn't even do it justice, the beautiful colors uh, that come from these prismatic pools. I won't mention the smell. Uh, that's not exactly the best pleasing smell, but the views are so good, you almost don't even smell uh, the gas that comes from these pools and it doesn't bother you. But these are the Grand Tetons. So you have Grand Teton National Park as well, right there next to Yellowstone in the property that we're going to feature today, which is the Amangani. And the Amangani uh, is nestled there just outside of Jackson Hole, uh, which as you know is, uh, is near the southern half of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. And it's, it's, as I mentioned, comprised of beautiful mountains and vistas with meadows and flats with river bottoms and geysers uh, and prismatic pools with a tremendous array of wildlife uh, in and around this entire area from bison to, uh, to uh, all different types of birds and floral and fauna that uh, will keep you looking for elk and deer and moose uh, and in different pronghorn antelopes. I mean, it's, it's never ending, not to mention if you're ever so lucky to see one of the grizzly bears or black bears in the area, that would be an absolute fine. But Amangani is uh, in the Amman properties, and this is a global brand at the highest level of luxury in regards to accommodations and service. In fact, this property only has 40 suites within it. It's about a 20 minute drive outside of Jackson Hole Airport. So fairly easy to get to. Great airlift if you're coming from the Tucson area. You just fly on Delta to Salt Lake City right into Jackson. Maybe for my money, the most beautiful airport in all of the United States is the Jackson Hole Airport. Uh, but you is this place is also a year round destination. So don't just think of it as a ski resort. Amman is not positioned uh, in the ski resort area. You would have to drive to the to the slopes, but uh, being a year round destination, you've got hiking and mountain biking. You can go fly fishing on the Snake River. A lot of outdoor activities. There are beautiful lakes that you could go out on a pontoon boat, uh, but also the winter activities as well in regards to skiing, cross country skiing, snowshoeing. There is dog sledding and snowmobiling as well here. Uh, but the Amangani again is nestled there just outside of the Grand Teton National Park. It kind of creates a great base camp of operations uh, for you to use day trips to the Grand Teton National Park or into Yellowstone. So you don't have to stay in Yellowstone. Uh, you could make a day trip of it uh, even a couple of times if you want to do the traditional view of Old Faithful and make sure that you get in to see Old Faithful. You don't have to stay there at the Old Faithful Inn. It's a beautiful property if you want to stay right inside the park. Uh, but if you're looking for the highest end of accommodations in a beautiful setting, uh, you can't go wrong with the Amangani uh, here just outside of Jackson Hole. Again, the highest end uh, of treatments here within the room, spacious and beautiful views outside the windows. Uh, it does span a beautiful area there within the Yellowstone, the steps of the Yellowstone National Park. Wonderful spa facility on site, fantastic dining, farm to table dining experiences. They're indoor and outdoor depending on the season. Booking with Bon Voyage Travel, again, will get you a great offering of amenities before we now take you back to the Caribbean. Thanks, Ryan. Um, so we are now moving to Turks and Caicos. And as Ryan said, Grand Cayman, I'm, I'm a huge fan of as well. But just as there are people who say Team Rome versus Team Florence between Grand Cayman and Turks and Caicos for the best speech in the Caribbean, I, we may have to call it a draw. What do you think, Ryan? <laughs> I, it'd be tough because so. it, it'd be a 12 round fight, I'm sure. <laughs> but um, if you're looking for softest silk white sand beaches and the purest, most turquoise water that you'll see, Turks and Caicos is, is a great option. Um, and I will say that Turks and Caicos is not open right now, but it's scheduled to open on July 22nd. So just a few weeks away. So if you're, uh, if you're looking to travel this summer, Turks and Caicos, where we have several hotels, six or seven, Hotels with Signature and Bon Voyage that will offer you different experiences, price points, and amenities. Um, but today we're going to talk about the Grace Bay Club, uh, which is, uh, I think, has, has the best speech of any of them in Turks and Caicos. So um, the property is 82, it's an all suite hotel. So 82 suites, as well as villas, 
estates and private homes. So when we talk about having space, having uh, space within your accommodation, space across the resort to really get out and enjoy the grounds and your own personal accommodations, Grace Bay Club is a fantastic choice. It's that classic Caribbean decor, airy, bright, wonderful um, activities include everything from world-class diving, scuba diving, snorkeling, paddle boarding, kayaking, uh, uh, bo boating, motor boating, etc. And Turks and Caicos itself is a terrific destination to explore off the property. There's fantastic hiking. And then one of my favorites every Thursday is the local fish fry. So downtown, they have all of these local vendors come out, street food. Um, Henry the Kong, who is the, um, he's the mascot of Turks and Caicos, comes out, gets the crowd going. Lots of fun for, uh, for kids and adults alike. Um, Grace Bay Club also has a terrific kids club, multiple dining options. And again, um, I, I, I'd have a hard time even trying Ooh. to get myself going for activities when you're, when you're looking at a pool and you're looking at that turquoise upon turquoise. So um, a great option here in uh, that's just 15 minutes from Providenciales Airport. So super easy, lots of direct flights and air coverage uh, from the States um, and uh, a terrific option if you're really ready to maximize your summer and, and utilize that resort credit and, and suite of amenities that it provides. Awesome, that's a, another great property. You're, you're absolutely right. I, every picture we've put up there this is the best view. This is the best accommodations. And I think what we're trying to share here is that there are a number of options for each and every one of our, of our clients and our, and our people that we send across the world that are actually in your backyard that are unbelievable places to stay and visit. Uh, and we hit a bunch of different places today. Just a quick rundown of our view and our trek around North America. We took you to the low country, South Carolina cottage feel of the Montage Palmetto Bluffs, zipped up to Rock Creek Ranch and, and showed you uh, a luxurious ranch, almost a dude ranch feel. Uh, you went, we went equestrian on you and got the horse feel of Northern Virginia at the Salamander. Uh, then we jumped across the country uh, and there's nothing better than Half Moon Bay with the big cliffs right off into the Pacific Ocean with the Ritz Carlton. Gave you a Spanish hacienda feel of the Ojai Valley Inn and Spa down the coast in Southern California. Zipped back over to the Chesapeake Bay and I can see myself using that hammer cracking the crack. <laughs> I love the nautical feel of the East Coast, and I learned something today. I did not know that that uh, hotel was the, the site of the Wedding Crashers wedding, the initial wedding. I will definitely need to visit that for that history alone in the Hollywood scene. Uh, but gave you some sandy beaches in the Caribbean at the Kimpton Sea Fire, zipped you up to a Canadian property on Lake Louise. And, and many people have heard of Lake Louise as one of the bucket list places to visit not that far for those of you that live here, especially on the West Coast in Southern Arizona. It's a pretty easy trip for you if you're looking for something, again, close to home. Uh, but then there's nothing there's, that, is, that can be uncompromised with the wildlife and nature that provides from the Yellowstone National Park. And I, I love the Yamangani because you get the outdoor feel of Yellowstone and you come home to absolute luxury with the Amman property there, the Amangani, uh, which I think, uh, would, would be good to note uh, that the Amangani means peaceful home. That's what Amangani means. Nothing better than that after being out on a day trip in the Yellowstone National Park area. And then we ended in the Caribbean back with the turquoise waters of Turks and Caicos. I hopefully gave you a number of different options, uh, places to be inspired by. Uh, so Bear in mind, as we have started uh, to talk about some of these properties, the majority of these properties are currently open. Uh, bear in mind United States citizens and governmental issues uh, that we still have with travel to Canada and travel to the Caribbean. Some of those places are not able to be visited today. So the Fairmont Lake Louise is open to visitors, but United States citizens at, at present can't travel north of the border just yet, uh, but we're hopeful that that will turn. Uh, but bear in mind, some of these places 
you can go to tomorrow and we'd love to take your booking. But some of these places we want you to be dreaming about into the future. Uh, just real quickly, uh, Jordan, did you hey, have- Ryan, if I, can, if I can just um, pipe in there too. Uh, one Please. Of the run now is as obviously governmental regulations are so fluid, but we at Signature have been working really closely with all of our hotel partners um, to ensure that they're providing our, our member partners like Bon Voyage the best terms and flexible cancellation policies and things like that. We're really, so if there are opportunities for you to book out, um, you know, a little bit or a little bit further than you would have otherwise or start thinking ahead to Festivus, um, festive season, then, you know, definitely speak to your advisor because they can tell you um, these hotels are great promotions out there and uh, terrific flexibility if plans change or governments or or um, air, don't don't be uh, discouraged from from seizing the moment and taking the opportunity to book future travel now. Yeah, and a lot of people that work with Bon Voyage maybe don't realize uh, the connections that we have in the hotel space. Many people like yourselves that are watching might be cruise passengers of ours, and uh, that is one area that we specialize in. But as you can tell based on the presentation today, we just presented ten of over 1,100 properties globally that uh, Bon Voyage has partnerships and relationships with due to the Signature Travel Network consortia of agencies across the world that helps us uh, provide wonderful amenities. Uh, Jordan mentioned uh, all of the, the COVID cancellation situations. We're working closely with the, the hotel properties to find the best consumer experience possible in regards to those. But I think of uh, there are some jungle treetop hotels across the globe that Signature has relationships with, tented camps in Kenya uh, that we have relationships with. So it's not just uh, locally. We wanted to give you a free houses in New Zealand. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's the place to go right now. If they would let you, that's the place to be <laughs> in New Zealand right now. So hopefully we've inspired you and I, I don't see that there's too many other questions or comments, but uh, I wanted to encourage you as a, as a viewer of today's episode of the Bon Voyage Travel Webinar Series. We'll be back next week. Uh, we've got one uh, scheduled every Wednesday for the rest of the summer. We'll be releasing our July catalog and menu of options. We're going to be on uh, river cruising. We're going to be on ocean cruising. We're going to have another presentation talking about travel within North America with guided vacations. If you don't want to venture out on your own and you want the peace of mind of having uh, somebody traveling with you, and taking care of every whim and every need that you have, we'll talk guided vacations stateside. Uh, but next week, we have Aqua Expeditions talking about small ship cruising. So mm -hmm. Really cool experience uh, that you won't want to miss. Go to our website, bvtravel.com, click on events, and you'll see all of the offerings there. And if you've missed one of our previous 10 episodes, this being the 11th edition of the BDT webinar series, you can watch any of those as we've recorded them and have posted them on our website. Uh, so we'll end our session here by saying a big thank you to you for joining us on the webinar. A huge thank you to Jordan Green, VP of Hotels uh, and Re Relationships with Signature Travel Network. Jordan, thanks for joining us and imparting thank your- Thank you. So much fun. All right. We hope to have Jordan back on in the future. The New destination in hotels. Uh, stay yeah. safe and dream big as you hope to travel sometime soon. Take care.